Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Welcome to the Flash Finds Podcast, the world's fastest podcast where we explore how Facebook can help you with the stuff you're into. I'm Emma Rogue, joined by Nathan the Cat Lady, a Facebook creator. So Nathan, if you're into pets, what kind of stuff can you find on Facebook? Well, I make reels about useful tips for pet owners. For instance, cats don't like still water, so all of my cats have cat fountains. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. What a great episode. See you next time on the Flash Finds podcast, all about discovering the stuff on Facebook you care about. Bye. N equals one. N equals one. (laughs) Say it with me, everybody. N equals one. What are you talking about, Kendra? Can you please speak English? You and me are totally different. We are the end. We are the one. That's it. And the sooner we can realize that the only thing that we can control is ourselves, the better off we're going to be. And the faster we realize that we are who we are, because of all of the things that happened in our lives, the good, the bad, the ugly, they made us who we are right now. And by the way, what happens to us today is going to make us who we are tomorrow. So why, why do we get jealous or are we envious or are we judgmental toward other people in their life when ultimately we don't have a clue what is going on in their heart, in their soul, what their relationship is with God or not. This is also including the people that we grew up with in our families who we think we know so well, but we don't. Especially once we get out and go on and live our own lives outside of our childhood. N equals one. Stop worrying about other people's lives. Stop wanting other people's lives. You're made perfectly in God's eyes because guess what? He made you (laughs) perfect, period. The problem is the world is telling you you're not. The world says that people should look and act and be a certain way, do certain things, have certain aspirations and goals. And that is not the case. None of us have the same talents. None of us have the same skills and experiences. So why is it that we're all supposed to do the same thing? And seek and search for the same stuff. The only thing that we all have in common is we are created by God and we have a God shaped hole in our heart that will never be filled until God fills it. So today I'm going live on my YouTube channel at 11 o'clock in the morning. A personal shout out to Catherine who lives in Australia. She voted at the tail end for three o'clock today because it would be better for her. She'd actually be able to get up and join. And I am going to accommodate you next time. I promise this time my husband's going to be out of the house. And I don't know about you, but (laughs) that's a nice time for me. (laughs) I'm not saying that I don't 
like him here all the time, but when I do my videos and when I do my stuff, it's better when I'm by myself. I don't have to worry about him listening. I mean, come on, people. Let's take that car ride podcast, for example. Did I ever post that? I think I did. He was listening to my podcast right next to me and then calls me out on my addiction to my phone. <laughs> this is why he doesn't need to be around for these things. Okay, but that live today is going to be on YouTube at 11 o'clock. It's going to be kind of a come to Jesus moment where we all should look at ourselves seriously in regards to the soul mind, and body. The last live I did, if you haven't seen it, I mean, if I do say so myself, I do believe that the Holy Spirit took over and just ran with that hour live all about what can you be addicted to and are you addicted? So go watch that first. Join me at 11 Let's talk about the true things that we are battling because Jesus wants us to be honest with ourselves. No more looking at other people's lives. No more thinking that we want to be like somebody else because of two things. Number one, we have no clue what their life is really like. You know how many masks we put on as we go out in the world. And number two, we are unique in and of ourselves. Let's love ourselves, love our life. That's part of the problem is we always want to be, or we sometimes seek to be something that <laughs> we're not going to be. I'm never going to be a six foot tall, thin thighed, small butted woman. <laughs> I'm sure butted is not a word. I'm not going to ever have a real small butt. I'm not going to have thin thighs. I'm always going to have cankles, man hands, Flintstone feet. You know, I'm five foot four. I'm almost a square. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's not a lot of tallness or slenderness to me, but God finally had me love this body that he gave me. I've been honestly thanking him every day this week for my body because I'm doing strength training and I'm seeing things change. My physique is changing. That doesn't happen, by the way, when you only do aerobics, meaning if you're walking, if you're running, if you're doing kind of aerobic workouts, whether it's on a DVD or not, something that gets your heart rate up is good. But anaerobic, which is what muscle building is, Yes, you're using oxygen, but you're really tapping into your glucose stores in your muscles. And it's changing how I look at my body and how I'm relating to my body and how I am feeling my body becomes stronger. I'm loving everything about my body. Let me repeat that. To anyone out there who has never said those words, myself included, especially on a podcast to a bunch of people, I would be lying if I said that before, but I'm not lying now. I absolutely love the body that God gave me. I'm struggling through a few things. I still want my autoimmune deficiency, that white spot stuff on my hands to go away. I'm clearly going to have to take some time with that. I still got that eye thing, big old lump of bacteria and gross stuff in my eye, um, chalizion, or it's an in, inner sty, not sure what it is, but it's still there. I'm kind of bummed about that. But this is the road to health. I didn't get here overnight. It was decades of abuse, and I'm still not beyond eating poorly or drinking, right? I'm still not to a point where I'm constantly putting things that are good for my body in my body. So I know that my body still has to fight some of that alcohol that I'm drinking, and occasionally I'm going over on my carbs. I'm not going the sugary route. 
But ultimately, I feel good. My body is strong. I am not achy. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, I was saying the aches were coming back? That was because I wasn't doing as many strength training workouts. I was doing DVD body weight workout, which was good for me at the time. Obviously, I needed more weight. So that's where the N equals one comes into play. Everything is unique to you. You're starting in a different place with your soul. Everybody is on a different part of the journey. We're all on the same road, but we're at different places on it. And so we have to be honest with ourselves where we're at and obviously keep an eye on the destination, but appreciate the journey. I've been thanking God for making me realize that I do need more strength, that the real way to tone not to tone, but to make me feel stronger. I don't want to say tone. I want muscle. I mean, I don't think I could possibly be a dude. I think half my cough got on that. Sorry about that. But I don't think that I could build myself up to be a guy because I am a woman. I am just loving the strength. And so that is where you can get to, where you finally start looking at N equals one. Stop looking at X equals one, Y equals one, someone else equaling themselves because they have nothing to do with us. Our physiology, our spiritual lives, our environment, our upbringing, our emotional stability, our financial situation, our family life, our health, everything is unique to us. This is why the journey is all about you and God. It should be like G equals N, (laughs) like you and God. That's it. But this journey needs to start. And that's where we're going to have that conversation at 11 o'clock Central Time today. Just have a come to Jesus conversation so we can all really look at ourselves, soul, mind, and body. And call ourselves out in front of prayer with Jesus. So I hope you can join. Again, it's on YouTube. I also put my soul, mind, and body link down below if you want the extended videos. Excuse me. If you want the perks of that, which has more videos, it's going to have some training in terms of prayers. Um, We're also going to do some teaching on psychology and the chemical makeup of the mind and the body. There will be a whole bunch of additional Things that we can learn about how to balance our soul, mind, and body. And it takes some time, everyone. I mean, some of these videos takes me prep hours beyond what you could even imagine to put those videos together. So again, that's why it's over in the Soul, Mind, and Body group. $4.99 a month. Join, quit, whatever, test it out. I'd love to see you over there. I'd love to walk with all of you because again... This is a fun time. Change is fun. And when you see what's happening, it's even cooler. Okay, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit. We ask you into our heart. We ask you to renew our mind. Renew our heart. Renew our body. Renew our love for you, for us, and for others. We want joy, Jesus, others, you. Help us in that order to remember that. Because without Jesus and his heart, we can't love ourselves. And we can't love others like he wants us to. So we humbly ask today for you to come into our heart to open it and pour your love in. Help us love ourselves. Because if we don't love ourselves, Lord, how can we love others? Help us to hear what we need to hear and see what we need to see. The truth about ourselves. 
And Lord, if anyone goes on to the live today at 11 o'clock, may you touch all of our hearts and souls. No matter when anyone views that video, that you raise to their eyes what they are supposed to see. And move me aside, please. Speak right through me to everyone. I do not even want to be there. In your name, Jesus, we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Now, don't get freaked out. I'm not saying I'm channeling God through me on this live. I'm just asking to step aside. Like, kick me and my thoughts and my selfish ways and whatever I may want to do on this live. Just move me aside, Lord. Use me as the instrument that I'm supposed to be down here. However you want to use me today. Am I going to be a loud banging gong or am I going to be a beautiful harp? I don't know. That's God's. We've got to go back to humility, everyone, because nothing's going to change in the right way at the right time with true permanence until we have that relationship with him. And as you sit here, gosh, I just smacked my mouth. I do that on the video and I hate that. This it's so gross. I don't know why I do it. Anyway, you all just sit with yourself and thank God for who you are. Thank God for all the changes that he's made in your life to date. And thank him for the adventure that you and him are going to have today. And I hope you join me at 11. I hope you join me in the Soul, Mind, and Body group N equals one. This is your walk with God. And it's so cool when you get to know someone and then you fall more in love with them and then you seek them all the time. Ah, oh, okay. I love you all. Find something more with God today and have a blessed, oh wait, soul, mind, and body and have a blessed and inspired day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Time to hang up. Bye.